Alright, so I think I still might want to wait a bit for the game to just warm up after I just started recording. Well, this is going to be a local recording, not a live stream. Didn't really feel like just also streaming Minecraft on my Twitch. Considering that would just be more content what I want to move over to my YouTube channel when I can upload there again anyways. So this is just going to be a local recording and then I'll just basically have this up on YouTube whenever the opportunity arises to be able to upload again. Yeah, so this video was recorded, is being recorded April 9th, 2022. So yeah, the plan here, at least for the live stream, well, this is not a live stream, this part of the advent of Ascension of Hardcore playthrough on 3.5. The plan here is basically to just get myself into Vox Pawns for one thing. Might as well get that unlocked and then basically just have access to every dimension. What I think I'm also going to do is maybe expand the farm as well. What can I even make out of netherite? Yeah, there's one infusion recipe to make a crossbow that requires no ammo. Lodestone. <laughs> I want to see if my doors are open. <laughs> Block of netherite. Yeah, smithing table. I would need to just use a smithing table to actually just upgrade diamond gear. Yeah, but with all the modded shit I have from Avon Ascension, there's just basically next to no point to acquiring, well, any of this here. I'm not gonna need another right pickaxe, I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm carrying something much better. Also probably have much better armor as well. Except this does have the knockback resistance, interestingly enough. Yeah, interesting, that's got knockback resistance if I maybe want that. But then again, I just have to like go enchant more armor pieces anyways, and... Yeah, if anything, I still think I prefer to just like keep the armor pieces I have on already. Those are probably still just gonna be like, for the most part, better. So... Oh, I have to make a diamond hoe and then upgrade it. Yeah, so I need to make the smithing table, actually. Pfft, easy enough. Yeah, if I seriously just want to, like, have a netherite hoe... Okay, uh, that's the correct recipe. Then I also should try and find a place for this, too. That also now needs a home. So this smithing table's only purpose is to just upgrade gear. <laughs> Wait, don't I actually have to use up the entirety of the nether height hoe and then I get the advancement? Wait, don't I actually have to just use up the hoe in its entirety and only then would I get it? Okay, let me just try and find that somewhere, the advancement there. Let me find that. Serious dedication. It's in challenges or something, isn't it? Okay, it's not... Oh, so the advancement's just been changed, so... Okay, so you don't actually have to use up the entirety of the hoe anymore. So you only just need to basically waste another item to get the advancement now, so... I don't have to just basically go through the entire durability on this. So I guess if you use up the diamond hoe, nothing happens aside from it just breaking on you. Whereas before, that's how you got serious dedication. So now you need to just basically waste a netherite ingot to make a netherite hoe, and then you get the investment that way. Still definitely want to just reevaluate your life choices. Unless you just literally have, like, no need for netherite because you're playing modded and just 
just just basically just about all the shit from Lada is just strictly better. So yeah, speaking of which, I think I'm also going to opt to expand my farm with this netherite hoe, sure. Also, let me see where I might have left my... Okay, I want to just have some buckets, too. Yeah, I figured I might want to consider expanding these farms just a little bit. Okay, I'm also going to get my shovel out for the sake of this. I'll get my shovel out, too. All right, wherever I left that. All right, it's over there. Okay, just unbreaking one on that shovel. So yeah, definitely could be digging faster. I mean, this still should be like quick enough regardless. Shouldn't take too long. I mean, mainly just decided to do Minecraft, like local recording. Just like me doing more of this playthrough, just for the sake of, I don't know, getting more work done on the base itself. And also, I guess, the farms around the base as well. That too, I'm gonna work on. Yep, so that's certainly just more space to put a bunch of crops, actually. Right now, we're starting to finally use durability on the netherite hoe here. Alright, let me quickly see if I left any cocoa beans around here. Did I even bother to keep any of those? Let's see. Because I was thinking of making some brown carpet. Well, specifically brown to just blend in well with the dirt that I'm growing stuff on. But I'm guessing I didn't? Unless I can just... Actually, no, it doesn't matter if I just grow a jungle sapling. Guess I didn't bother to actually import any. Like from didn't bother to take any from the jungles, so. Alright, sure. Maybe I could just like double check, perhaps. Though I'm like certain I didn't take any cocoa beans at this rate for myself. Does not look like it. Ooh, purple carpet. 
It's gonna kind of stick out like a sore thumb just if I put that, like, trying to cover up the water. Sure, it will cover the water up, but it's gonna really just stand out. Yeah, I definitely thought I heard something behind me. Alright, so I might need to just... I'm just gonna actually gonna put, like, water here, too. Yeah, sure, we'll do that. I'm right, just trying to see where else I might need to throw, like, random, like, block of water or something. I think I'm just gonna leave it like this. I think this should be fine. Yeah, I suppose this will be okay. That would actually plant more crops. Now I just plant more of these, actually. And then I guess I'll put wheat in the rest of these. The rest of these spots, I'll just put wheat. Alright, that's, that's better. I'll take that out too. Alright, let's, let's plant more, of course. And I think this will be, I don't know, I think this will be big enough for now. Yeah, that, that should be fine for the time being. I guess I'll put some extra wheat seeds in here. I don't see why not. Might as well. I'll see if there's also like any point in expanding this farm or if I just leave it as is. Or I guess at least I'll just like use the hoe on the grass that just on the land that got like upholstered by like random enemies just 
trampling on it. So I guess this netherite hoe is going to stay here with the, these other seeds and whatnot. It's, uh, it'll just stay here. Sure. Alright, so how much junk am I actually holding on to at this point? How much of this is literally just junk I don't need? How much of this can I actually just straight up, like, get rid of? Oh, right, I just remembered I wanted more Rosadons, so... This should get me there rather easily. Yeah, this should basically get me there. Yeah, and then there's also going to be just trying to get more distortion runes. Yeah, there's that too. Alright, so that should last me for quite a while. This should last me. These seeds, I can just. Pretty sure I can just toss those pretty easily. I'll toss that. I'll toss that too. Alright, let's also put the water bucket back away with the other one, of course. And I guess maybe later I'll just worry about figuring out what I can keep and what's just good to get, get tossed. Alright, so I'm also gonna throw these in with the other copper coins. Yeah, those can just go there, basically. And since I tend to like to put my shulker box down on this carpeted floor, I might just simply remove the carpeted floor. At this point, I think I'm just going to consider straight up removing it. And then again, if I do that with a pair of shears, can't I just, like, upholster it a lot faster? Okay, I guess that only seems to work with solid wool blocks or something. Doesn't work with carpet, which is made out of wool. Sure. Okay, I'm gonna close this so a creeper can't just walk in on me. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna remove all the carpet at this point. Maybe even possibly also think of another block to put down in place of the wood here. <laughs> Just maybe. Alright, that basically takes care of all the carpet. That removes all that. Now I got even more, like, blocks and whatnot to just put away. Oh, plus, plus one there, too. Sure. Yeah, so, distortion runes, I literally only have, like, seven of them left, I think. I'm pretty sure that's the last of the distortion runes I've got, so... I'm pretty sure, yeah, I need to just... I'm gonna probably really just have to get myself to Vox Ponds ASAP at this point. Because I know the distortion rune post, the rune shrine now just spawns there. So I'm gonna just opt to get myself there ASAP, basically. Alright, so... Wherever I left the full hazmat suit, where did I leave that? Because I, I need that now. I mean, I need that to just at least actually get into the Vox Ponds. 
Pretty sure I won't need to survive there because there are other helmets that nowadays provide their own oxygen and also work in Vox. So I have to wear this while talking to any trader in Creeponia. So I just have to use this on any trader in Creeponia while wearing the hazmat suit, basically. Which, yeah, that should be, like, easy enough. That shouldn't be too much of a problem to do, so we'll just do it. You yeah, know, let's just get her done. That should be easy enough. And eventually I'll also come back here for the boss fights against Creep. That too will be doing. I'll just kill this for some Hunter experience. Well, I'll try to kill it. Anyways. There we go. Now let's get a move on. Yeah, so my task here is simple enough. Need to find a any any like character in Creeponia I can trade with. I preferably find one that's not near any hostile mobs. So neither me nor him or anything I'm trying to just like carry around gets blown up. Yeah, it's just so like nobody ends up getting like hurt while trying to just set everything up. I'm guessing, I'm guessing this counts, right? I'm gonna see if the banker counts. So I gotta wear the full hazmat first things first. Let's see if he counts. I'm gonna guess he doesn't. I would guess not. I'm guessing maybe the banker won't count for this purpose. Doesn't count for that task, maybe. So I know there's the explosives expert and uh, maybe the lotto man too? Could I maybe find a way to also show it to the lotto man as well? Well, somebody's up here. I'm gonna show the realm stone to this guy. And see, see if that ends up working in my favor. Take this, I have a strange urge to give it to you. Yup, that worked. I don't know if I want to buy any treasure boxes, I guess now I have an opportunity to do that. Unless I just get blown up by a random creeper or he gets blown up. Right, there goes most of my money, just spent on more treasure boxes. Right, so I'm gonna get set flying. Okay, shit, I dropped my treasure boxes. I literally just dropped those by, yeah, I just dropped those, panicking. Where did I drop them to? Okay, just up here in this tree. So I got my boxes still. Yep, so the auto man works. The banker didn't, however, work for that task. So I'll need to just remember to take out one of my helmets that provides some oxygen before setting foot in Vox Ponds. So I can actually just reasonably get stuff done there. Yeah, I can kind of just skip making the face mask, I would assume. I would assume, like, the diving helmet will just provide its own oxygen and let me just survive there. And if it doesn't, then I just go and quickly get myself the materials for a face mask and just make that anyways. In worst case scenario, I just quickly try for a face mask. Thankfully, these days, it really doesn't take long to just 
obtain the materials in Vox Ponce to get one. Okay, this is a different trader. That's a different guy in there. Yeah, nothing from him I really want to buy, so I'm just going to keep on heading for the exit. I don't really think I need any from th anything from this guy. Okay, I don't need to be going- I really don't need to be going north at all. Okay, I could have just found a lot of man here apparently. Like, sure, I guess. Yeah, so there was a lot of men just really not too far from this portal. Just couldn't find them. Alright, so now I can go unlock the Vox Pawns again. Yeah, definitely wouldn't want to be caught dead without this. So I'm gonna swap to put this on. I'm gonna just put that on and... Let's just see if that doesn't actually work. Then I can just switch the hazmat, get the face mask, and then just put the face mask back on as soon as possible. I guess I'm gonna crack these open and end up with... another pair of Utopian boots that I don't think I need too badly. <laughs> A little bit more rosite and... Sure, and... Yep, rosite. Lemonite, they can just make into more copper coins and just turn right back into more treasure boxes in the future. So that's like some of it back. Oh, and some silver coins, alright. And of course some more coppers. I assume this should work, right? Well, first things first, I'm going to take a night vision potion so I can just see like perfectly clearly in Vox Ponds. Okay, I can safely breathe here with the dying helmet, it seems. So if I remove it, then I start taking damage till I die or put that back on or just leave Vox. That is probably literally our distortion rune shrine just right over there. Within viewing distance of the portal itself, we've got... Our distortion rune shrine, so let's go straight over there and just take the room posts. I'm gonna go straight there. Literally within viewing distance. And this looks way more natural than the old terrain generation for sure. I already like this terrain way better. I'm guessing it's supposed to look all fucked up because it's a distortion rune shrine. <laughs> guessing it's supposed to look messed up, hence the term distortion rune. Okay, that just landed down here now, didn't it? Now I'm gonna have to go back up for the rest of these. Okay, so that's like, I th is that like liquid now that you fall in? Granted, like, it still gives you poison and nausea when you touch it. I mean, there are like all kinds of toxic blocks on the old Vox Ponds that did that. So I'm guessing it's like a liquid now that just like debuffs you if you touch it. That's like the ruined storefront, sure. Next thing I think I would realistically want to do here is just maybe start prepping up for Voxelon. Which would involve just finding the actual, like, Voxelon arena first things first. Yeah, which would involve... Oh, this guy here used to, like, he used to, like, live in the Abyss. That guy used to belong in the Abyss. He got, like, moved over. So this is like a new liquid of some sort, right? Because I'm not carrying a bucket or anything, so I can't just pick it up. Wait, Vox Ponds has its own, like... Oh, it has its own sun now? It used to not have its own sun, right? 
didn't used to always be this way, I don't think. Yeah, several of the structures I recognize from the old Vox Ponds are still there, but... The terrain now looks a hell of a lot more natural than it used to. It's no longer a bunch of square chunks like it was before. So yeah, this just feels more normal, so... Yeah, just definitely like this more normal looking terrain more. So I guess I'm just gonna run around and try and find the nearest Voxelon arena. Then probably just take note of it the moment I find it. And I think I might have just found it already. I'm guessing this is literally it right here. I'm guessing you're supposed to fight Voxy Boy here. Yep, Voxy Boy, you fight him here. Alright, so I'll probably want to just prep up the surrounding area. That is when I'm actually, like, gonna be ready to fight Voxelon. I'll probably come back there with more blocks in my possession. Okay, this is weird. So if I look west, the sky is this color. If I look east, it's a completely different color. That's odd. Yeah, not gonna lie, that's weird. <laughs> if I face downwards, it goes dark. Face upwards. Or if I face west, <laughs> bright pink. Yeah, that's, that's a little jarring, not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm guessing, like, not all the kinks were worked out with, like, the day-night cycle in Vox Ponds just yet. Doesn't look like all the kinks were worked out just yet. So, yeah, I might want to just take a moment to just stop moving and just think exactly what I gotta do to just get the boss alt item. Okay, that's gonna just pour down and flow towards me. Crap, I gotta move it then. Yeah, so, basically just the boss item. The item that I use on the altar to spawn the boss, which is the Vile Stone. Toxic Waste Bucket. Oh, so is that all I have to do? And then this spawns Voxelin, I think, right? Is that, is that all I gotta do? So I'm guessing the Enigma Table, like, in the underground portion of Vox Ponds is no longer a thing. I'm guessing that might have been removed. And if I just do a little bit more mining, I guess I can just scratch together the iron for a bucket. <laughs> yeah, I suppose I can just scratch that together, but... Yeah, it just hit me. I'm also gonna need some wood. <laughs> yeah, I guess I do want to make a crafting table. Right, assuming there are actually any trees here in the first place that just start cutting down. Yeah, assuming there's still, like, logs I can use. Assuming I can use these logs. Assuming I can make those into planks, but it doesn't look like I'm able to do so. So I might just have to go elsewhere for my wood. Since I don't know if, like, toxic wood trees generate anymore here. Sure, there's a lot of tentacles, but I'm not going to be getting, like, planks out of those, I don't think. Oh, and this guy's past him now, by the way. Doesn't matter, I'm still getting shot at like crazy. Yeah, so I might just have to simply come back here with some wood. Since I don't even know if I can actually get any, like, wood I can make in the planks and Vox Ponds anymore. Yeah, I, I'm kind of doubting you can still do that. Sure, there's like logs on the ground, but the hollowed out ones you cannot make into planks. Couldn't make them into planks before, and you still can't make them into planks. So those are like just out of the question. And I see only like hollowed out logs on the ground here, okay. Yeah, let's just Caillou, Shire Staff. Let's just get a move on, just run away from that. Yeah, so I'm gonna be running home, I guess, to get some wood, and then just making a bucket back home. Then actually being able to just scoop up some toxic waste. And yeah, while I'm out there, I'm gonna be just, I don't know, collecting more blocks or something. 
just kind of use those to give myself more of a more of an arena to fight Voxelon in. I mean, I guess having more space would be like beneficial. <laughs> All right, please get on. Okay, I'm gonna just teleport out. I'll just teleport out of the toxic waste again. Okay, we're gonna want to get out of here rather quickly because I'm on my last distortion rune. And I definitely like having the ability to just teleport out. Okay, this is actually, like, this is actually getting a little intense, not gonna lie. Yeah, I might actually literally be just staring down, like, a, a game over screen if it didn't have the Caillou staff. I'd probably be staring down a game over screen in the next five seconds, to be honest. If it wasn't for Caillou. Yeah, and I still- I still can't see very well. Still can't see too well. So, I'm gonna opt to just, again, like, quickly drink up a night vision potion. Okay, that's already, like, so much better. And also, like, I'm not about to die, either. Then again, didn't come that close to dying, but still, like, oh boy. Still, oh boy, that that definitely could have been really scary. Also, can I just take this with me? I think I can just literally take this with a silk touch pack. Vox store crate. And I'm pretty sure if I break that one without silk touch, the NPC inside that's just going to spawn. All right, but more importantly, I just want to get out of here. And then just, I don't know, maybe come back a bit later. <laughs> well, I'm gonna get the Vile Stones first things first. I, I suppose I'll do that. But yeah, I'll absolutely want to get more Distortion Runes. Unless I want to just get stuck in Toxic Waste some more and like not even have like an easy way out. Again with this, literally just... And this, this guy's gonna be trouble, isn't he? This guy's gonna be a bit of trouble unless I just take him out. Yeah, I'm just gonna remove him, so just getting up to that portal will be a little easier. So I'll just quickly take this guy down. That'll- that'll take care of him. <laughs> yep, that'll do it. And then I gotta just... Hop inside and I'm home free. Until I should just go back and continue to just fuck about in Vox Ponds. I'm guessing that's the storekeeper in this crate or something, right? So I'm guessing if I just put this here and break it, that storekeeper is going to show up. <laughs> Alright, so I brought him into the overworld, this mutant shopkeeper from Vox Ponds. Ended up in the overworld. Or if I want to buy Vox glass and just waste my gold coins. Then again, if I really have nothing better to do with them, it won't feel like that much of a waste anyways. I wonder what other trades this dude could possibly have anyways. I'm guessing he's just gonna like stand here perhaps. Okay, I might actually make several. I may act I'm gonna make like two buckets, actually. I'll make two. Yeah, so I'm gonna quickly s grab some toxic waste, take it back home, and then just get some vile stones from it. Because that's like actually how you get them nowadays. Then again, first, I'm pretty sure I just want to actually have like distortion runes up and running first. Yeah, pretty sure I should just make sure those are up and running first, before doing anything else. Yeah, let's get, just get those to be up and running first, actually. I 
guess I'm gonna be clearing a few like extra guys out here. Yep, so distortion runes. I'm pretty sure I just want to get that set up literally as soon as possible. I guess I'll set up the power runes after that. So this guy, please come down here. I want to get rid of this night fly. Okay, I'm gonna make some more like slabs first. There we go. All right, time to just add even more rune shrines to this collection here. <laughs> just keep on like adding them. So first thing I really wanted to do in Vox Pawns was just get the Distortion Rune Shrine and just take it home. And, well, yeah, of course that's now done. I now have, like, as many Distortion Runes as I desire. So I might actually just straight up go for the Wind Rune Shrine again. I think I'm going to just attempt yet again to go for Wind Runes. Because, yeah, once I find those and then I just take my time to actually put all the Rune Shrines back up... I'll have, like, access to basically every rune type on demand. Assuming once my runation level reaches, like, 72 and thus can make life runes. Which I'm actually not too far off from, so... Yeah, once we hit 72 runation, we're basically just good to go, as far as I'm concerned for runation skill. Yeah, because then life runes are unlocked, and then... Well, that's... That's literally the last rune you unlock from the skill. <laughs> That's why just leveling up to 100 just takes a while. I mean, once you get into like the 80s, it starts to get like really slow training the skill. Even slower in the 90s. Alright, then I guess I'll just throw this other bridge down. I'll throw down another bridge, I suppose. Alright, cool. So now I gotta just put the rune shrines down, so I guess power runes are going to go here. And I, yeah, I'm actually gonna come back here with... Some more wood to make more chests, more double chests, just to keep the runes in that I'm going to make in the future. Alright, I'm going to go get the wood right now, I suppose. Let's just get the wood now. Alright, we're going to use, I guess we're going to use up these Shire Logs. Some of these I can use up. Right, and we can use up that too. That's that's also fine to use. 
So yeah, I'm gonna make like, I guess four of these grand total. That's gonna go there. Sure, that goes there, like so. And then I'm gonna actually just put the Shire Logs back. Yeah, I think I actually only need like four double chests for what I'm going to do at the moment. Well, actually, like two double chests, so like four chest blocks. And then, yeah, this too. So double chest, double chest, double chest. Missing rune shrine that's gonna go smack dab in the middle. Now the rune posts, they're gonna go in the four corners. Bingo. And then just these two. And also these. Perfect. And now to actually make a bunch of runes. So I'll just use these to start making runes. Might actually also have to just grab some more energy and kinetic while I'm... No, those are lunar runes. Kinetic is over here. And I'm, I'm actually gonna grab some more while I'm up here. Sure. And now here I can just start making distortion runes. And also gain some renation levels while I am at it. But mainly just want to get these made. That way I have, like, basically a reliable stash of distortion runes going forward. Sixty-eight renation, fine by me. Yeah, now we got like a reliable stash going forward. So I'll take that stack and then just leave the rest up there for when I need more. I'll just actually leave this stuff here for now. Also gonna see how my Elytra is doing in terms of durability. Let's see how that's doing. Very well, but yeah, I need firework rockets. Also need to put this on too, actually. All right, I just hurt myself with my firework, apparently. Right, these are the fireworks that explode. Maybe I don't want to fly with these. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's best I don't fly with those. I'll just save the. I, I I don't even know like when I'll use those. If if ever for anything. <laughs> I mean, I literally just used those for the sake of doing a task to get them to leave, and that was basically it. Seriously, I think there's, like, no need to, like, keep on using those specific fireworks. Unless I want to do a fireworks show in the future. But yeah, other than that, there's probably, like, no good reason to just ferry that around. Or use that. I'm also gonna put this away, this away. I'll put the... I'll keep, I'll, I guess I'll carry the buckets so I don't forget about them. That goes there. Alright, so paper and gunpowder and like lots of it. And then I can get back to flying. And like lots of paper and gunpowder.
So this should work. No, it's like actually like... Okay, it's three times the gunpowder and like one times the paper. And I suppose I can just make more firework rockets later if the need arises. Alright, so I'm gonna put a bunch of this paper away. Now I guess just carry this. And then just, I don't know, I'll pick a direction, fly in it, and just kind of hope for the best. Yeah, let's just pick our direction and hope for the best here. Okay, now we're gonna pick our direction and hope for the best. Alright, north it is. Okay, that's, that's what I gotta use to keep flying. Okay, I want to just be certain I was carrying that, because if I'm not, there's not much of a point in doing this, to be honest. Yeah, because that way I won't really easily be able to take the Windrun Shrines home with me. Yeah, I'm doing this so I can mainly just take those home, pretty much. And so I just want to be certain I got the Silk Touch Pickaxe. I'm just waiting for chunks to actually properly load. I do kind of need those to load, by the way. Okay. Phew. Wasn't quite sure what was happening for a second there, to be honest. I never did get, like, e extra energy runes. Granted, I'm not really gonna, like, don't see myself needing them out here in the overworld. I'm not gonna need them in the overworld, pretty sure. So I do have to find some extreme hills. Now that I just remembered exactly why I'm out here. Alright, so I guess I can look around here for the shrine maybe. Alright, trying to get a good view of the place up here. I'm guessing there's no Wind Shroon Shrine anywhere in this Extreme Hills biome. I'm guessing there's... Might be here to try. Or maybe not. Never mind.
That's a ruined nether portal. For some reason, if I still need more gold blocks, I have like 64 plus gold blocks just lying around and I'm not using them, so I'm, I'm gonna pass on that one. Alright, let's get a look around here. Cross our fingers. Apparently there's not much of a extreme hills to look around here. Yeah, apparently not much space to even look around here. Well, I guess no sign of any rune shrines here either. I I suppose not. Okay, that's coal. I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave that. I can leave that. All right, so where's the I know there's still Wind Rune Shrines that generate in this version of the mod. I did see one in the previous attempt. It's just, I don't know, I'm not having any luck finding it, it seems. Yeah, the luck seems to not really be there at the moment, just finding Wind Rune Shrines. I mean, granted, with the Elite Dragon, just cover a lot of distance quickly, so I'm definitely motivated to just look for it. Even though it's not even necessary. Still very much motivated to look for it. Where is it? It's not around. I don't think it's around. I don't think it can be here at this point. I, I seriously doubt it. I do doubt it. That it could be there. I have my doubts. Let's check this Extreme Hills then, since there's another one here. I'm gonna check this area.
That, yeah, that actually is a jungle. So if I guess if I want my brown carpets, I can have them. Yeah, I guess if that's actually what I want, I guess I can have it after all. Yeah, because to make that, we basically need our cocoa beans. Also, if I want to just get a bunch of locking experience, I guess here would also be a nice place to do it. Yeah, if I just want to, like, cut a bunch of trees down just to train logging, this would also be, like, the place to do it. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna stumble into this, not even looking for it, just... I was trying to find the Windrun Shrine, they found this first. enough cocoa beans for the time being. Ooh, nice. Bamboo jungle. Looks pretty. Looks pretty neat. Granta, of course, is not what I'm looking for. Still, damn, that looks nice regardless. Guess I also need pods all for anything. I guess I can have it right now. Guess if I for some reason need that for anything. I suppose I can have pods all. <laughs> and I guess bamboo, because why the hell not? Back to flying birds. Man, these trees go tall. Man, these go tall. Well, I thought for sure you're gonna be seeing even more jungle, but I guess I was wrong. Maybe if I go in this direction, I'll find the rest of it. Yep, indeed. Oh, and some desert now. <laughs> and now a bunch of desert out here too, it looks like. I guess if I find any desert temples, I'll just quickly loot them, see what interesting stuff they may have. If I spot any just flying over the desert. Otherwise, I'll just keep, I'll just keep flying otherwise. Let's call a hole. Alright, I guess no desert temples then. Sure. Don't need to find any anyways, I'm pretty sure. Oh, more desert, I guess. Sure thing. I figured I'd also see just how much durability that Elytra's on. So it's a little under half. That's not terrible. Yeah, I do kind of want to fix the thing. Should try and also fix the elytra while I'm out here, I suppose. Oh, 
Oh, more icebergs all the way out here. I believe I still have yet to find a single Windring Shrine anywhere. Definitely gave him, given it like one hell of a attempt so far, that's for sure. Ooh, shipwreck. All right. <laughs> Interesting. Pretty sure I need, like, nothing from it, though. Shouldn't be too long to see what's inside, though. And I, I pretty much need nothing out of here, to be honest, at this point. Yeah, nothing from in there I need. Huh. Didn't really take off, I see. Didn't continue taking off. Sure thing. Interesting, we got a village. Pretty sure there's like nothing I need from here anyways. Unless I want even more wheat, but my wheat farm is bigger than like since the start of the stream. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I made, I made my wheat farm bigger since the start of this recording. Another shipwreck. Sure, that is not what I'm looking for, though. I am not looking for that, however. Oh wow, Mesa Biome. Again, this is not quite what I was looking for, but sure, I guess we're just gonna find a Mesa. Sure thing, I see. Yeah, really not every day to find this. I don't know if I want Terracotta for some reason, I can just take it from here. Okay, was that like just a really small mess or was it just me? <sighs> Looks like I'm literally trying to just run in midair or some shit.
Alright, we're, we're just gonna leave the mess, I guess. We're out of there, pretty much. All right, let's change direction again. Ooh, village. Then we're gonna actually probably have to fly past. Probably nothing I really need. I, yeah, nothing I need in that village, I do not think. So I'll just keep going. Okay, I might actually want to stop off soon just to get some durability back on this Elytra here. Might want to just briefly stop off. All right, that's repairing pretty damn quickly, actually. Yeah, it's fixing pretty fast, not gonna lie. I don't know, we're gonna be looking at more... I think, I think we are gonna be looking at more ocean here. Yeah, I think... I'm guessing there's more ocean out here. Yep, indeed. I really don't need to keep on seeing ocean, if anything. And not trying to find ocean. Okay, I said I was gonna stop off the desert temple if I found one. I'm gonna just stop off at this one, I suppose. Let's just stop off in here. Make sure I don't set that off by mistake or anything. Yeah, just so in case something tries to just jump me like a creeper, then it won't trigger the TNT if I just remove it. Then it wouldn't be able to trigger the TNT in that case. Let's see if there's anything I could really make use of in here. I do want to take the skill crystal. I'll take that. It's always nice. I don't think I need more gunpowder that badly. Ooh. Hmm. I don't know if... I, I mean, it's worth taking because I can definitely just let go of something to take it. I can definitely afford to let go of something for sure. Okay, east. I want to go keep going east. Let's keep going east. Actually, no, south. No, we're gonna go south instead. I would love to find more extreme hills soon. It's been a while, I guess, since I've last seen one. It's been quite a bit.
Wait, is this jungle here? Yeah, I, I definitely noticed that more vibrant shade of green indicating we found the... We, we were here already now, weren't we? We were pretty sure we were in fact already at this jungle. Yeah, I recognize that. <laughs> yeah, I would definitely like these chunks to load faster. So I actually know like where I'm flying. <laughs> Yeah, just so I will be, like, less... Like, just so I'll be more certain I won't crash into anything. <laughs> or just stay really high up if I want to just avoid that risk. Or I just wait a little bit for chunks to look. Alright, so are there just like, like next to no extreme hills out in this part of the world, or is it just me?
All right, 8,000 blocks out west now and still just looking for a Wondering Shrine and no sign of one so far. Okay, let's just go south. I'm gonna just go south now. Sure. I'm gonna just change direction here. I feel like I must have gone far enough west at this point. If I still find no Windrun Shrine on the way back, that's gonna be disappointing for damn sure. Imagine just not even finding one on the way back. Like, oh boy. Oh wow, this Elytra is just fixing itself super quickly. Not even sure like how many enemies I killed, probably barely that many, and just, wow. This thing's almost like a full durability already, sure. Yeah, that fix is insanely quickly.
Okay, now really, where's where's the next extreme hills? Okay, I think this is this is it. But there's still no guarantee of a wind rune shrine anywhere near here. Yeah, I think you now have like no idea just how much I want to see one at this point. Yeah, so I guess I'll just take a closer look. Just make sure I don't actually end up missing it. Let's take a closer look up here. Don't want to miss it. Or it feels like this is this biome's already ending. <laughs> Dang. Unless I look out here. Okay, there's still like extreme hills out here. I can just check the area. Just check the area here at least. And maybe get lucky. I said maybe. So far it's looking like I'm not gonna get lucky. Alright, I guess not. Oh well. Oh, I can check here too. Let's do that. I mean, at least out here, I guess I'm gonna have a better shot at finding the damn thing. Since I'm now seeing, like, plenty of extreme hills again. Whereas that other area is just, I don't know what was going on there.
Oh, phantoms. I, I think that's what that, I think that's what's making that sound. Yep, indeed. Seth, I'm not just gonna like fly right past. I'm not gonna fly too fast on them to catch me. I think so. Probably just like outflew them anyways. Alright, east, east of this. Change directions once again. And I guess get back home soon. <laughs> Having gone through like nearly two stacks of firework rockets, just looking for a wind rune shrine and just no luck, I guess. Yeah, no luck, unfortunately, I suppose. Okay, now I'm seeing, like, cold biomes, so I don't know if this is a good or a bad sign, given what else I'm looking for. <laughs> Not quite sure if that's a good or a bad thing, the fact I'm seeing, like, cold biomes now. Alright, please load faster chunks, come on, please chunks. Right, there's some stuff to kill, I guess. I mean, I just want to get more XP orbs and whatnot.
Yeah, I don't think I really need ice crystals personally, so I'm just gonna leave those there. Yeah, last I checked, I didn't need ice crystals for anything. <laughs> yeah, whatever gear I could make, I'm, I just have like literally better options at this point. Alright, let's fly, please. There we are. There we go. Alright, sure. More ocean. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna look up here. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. I'm seriously just not quite sure how I'm having like this much trouble finding a single wind rune shrine. You didn't have to travel too like excruciatingly far out to find like one of them in a previous attempt, but here, oh boy. Yeah, I went out like nearly ten thousand blocks at this point, just trying to find one. Oh, okay, that's Stone Giant. Not quite sure what the hell that was for a second there. Yeah, it's easy hunter experience right there, so I'm just gonna take it. Yeah, I'll be taking that. Starting to really just not be sure at this point. Really not sure what my luck even is supposed to be right now. This goes pretty high up. Sure. 
unsure. Still unsure. No luck still somehow. Oh, but I can check here to maybe just again find no in rune shine. Let's get a closer look though. Yeah, from up here I can definitely see a lot, so definitely a nice look from up here. Actually see can we actually see for like more than a couple seconds everything up here? Oh, I thought that was maybe like ruined nether portal or something. No, it's not a stone golem. I'm gonna still kill him for more hunter experience. Yeah, another easy 4500 experience I'll take out. Ugh, ocean. Again, that's not what I'm looking for. Alright, let's give this a look-see here. I still, I guess, look around a few more extreme hills as I find them. Unless there's just really not much to even look at around here.
Yeah, I'm guessing there's just not really much else to check in that area, perhaps. Not much else to check, I see. Hitting me from behind. Okay, that's hitting me from behind. Just seeing how the durability on that is holding up, apparently, pretty nicely. Right, give me my experience, please. Yeah, that's gonna help fix up the Elytra nice and quick. I can literally not even hit anything through this frickin' frickin' grass. So tall. There we go. Oh wow, full durability. Nice. I guess I'll finish these two off. Well, yeah, now I'll finish them off. All right, east. All right, let's look here now. Let us look here. Um, what should we do? What are we doing here? I guess I'm gonna go hop up the side here. Okay, I guess this guy was stuck for a moment. Yeah, it was only briefly stuck. Uh 
That cow was spinning for a moment. Not quite sure why. No. Okay. Right. I guess we're going to be likely heading back the rest of the way on foot at this point. Since I do seem to be running out of rockets. So just, yeah, that was my last one. Alright, we're going back the rest of the way on foot, it looks like. Okay, I guess I'm going to look here then. Alright, looking here it is then. So I guess it's also time to just... Remove the Elytra, not much of a point in just keeping it like so, because, well, I'm out of firework rockets to really just take off with it, so, yeah. I could have maybe actually just opted to do this sooner. Having more chunks rendered. Probably would be more likely I just don't miss a Windrun Shrine if there's one out here. I should have maybe just bumped the chunks up sooner, I don't know. Might have been a good idea. Oh well. I guess next time I go looking I'll just consider that. Yeah, I suppose next time I look I'll do that. You know, hopefully that would make the Windrun Shrine a little bit easier to spot with more chunks simply being loaded in the first place. Yeah, so I'm really just double checking everything around here. Yeah, really, I'm just double checking right now for this possibly being here, the Windrun Shrine. Okay, I guess I can also at least check up there too, since it looks like we're going to come up like negative here. I'm trying to hit these guys. Apparently not much luck. Apparently, I'm just gonna not even bother. Apparently I'm having no luck hitting them. Okay, there we go. Figured I'd just, I don't know, maybe switch weapons? Maybe my luck would be better then, I don't know. Yeah, it's not looking too reassuring still. I really just don't know what to say. I don't know what to make of this. The fact that I'm still like not able to locate a Windrun Shrine. Yeah, I mean, I've definitely been looking, that's for damn sure. Certainly looks like there's at least a lot of extreme hills to check, so... Yeah, at least there's a lot of, like, area to check for one of these things. So I guess I can just keep on looking for quite some time. Okay, I think we're starting to, like, get away from, like, the potential area where one of those shrines can be. Or, never mind, maybe there's just... Alright, there's more, like, potential, like, places it can spawn over there, too. Yeah, over here, like, more places that can just show up. 
I don't know. Okay, over there, I guess maybe I can keep looking. Yeah, I guess over here I can continue to just look and hope for the best. I'm just gonna like go back north, I guess. Even though it's gonna take me into ocean. Which is not where I'm gonna be like Yeah, not where I'm going to exactly want to be for the sake of just finding wind runes. Not gonna find them out here. Yeah, just to travel back a bit faster, I'll just use up, like, runes and whatnot to just go back faster. Yeah, just to, like, speed this trip backwards up. I'll just try to stop teleport. Yeah, I should speed things up a bit, for sure. Sure. I suppose that's fine and dandy.
All right, Wes it is then. <laughs> Whoops. All right, so I am out of Shire Staff teleports. Until I get back home, I'm out of those, basically. Yeah, thankfully, just a little bit more distance to cover before we're home. About, like, 300 blocks or so. <laughs> oh, 300 blocks, give or take. And all this to still not find a single Wind Rune Shrine. Still none located. <laughs> gonna make it like just tricky to get like a large stack of wind runes at this rate to be honest it's gonna be kind of a pain in the ass just to like amass a large stack of those at the rare coin yeah if I can find literally every, every other wind rune shrine just not the win one it's gonna kind of limit like what stabs I can actually use especially for the sake of combat Back home, at least. There's all the Wind Rune Shrines except for, well, I haven't set up Strike and I haven't set up Wind because I'm missing the Wind Rune still. Still missing the Wind Rune Shrine. Still is yet to show itself in any capacity. I have those Wind Runes lying around. I guess that's just about it. Like, that's it. I'm gonna also move some runes over, perhaps. Well, I can definitely move over, move, move more over if I just give myself more inventory space to do so. I don't know, I guess I'm gonna put some extra runes here for now, I don't know. Yeah, I do suppose they can just go there. That goes here. I'm cooking that. Cocoa beans I'll put away. Yeah, I need to just find a place for them, of course. Those go there. I'm using this up for free hunter experience. That goes with my other books. TNT goes with the other TNT. Pots all goes someplace. Uh, Sure. Goes there, I guess. Terracotta goes, I don't know, here. Paper and gunpowder go back away, also. Yeah, so we're definitely going to be limited on wind runes for damn sure, it looks like. Looks like I'm really going to be limited there. Yeah, I'm just going to move a bunch of my rune randomizer runes over at this point. I'll see how many of those I can just get moved. Yeah, I should be able to move all of them. Poison runes. Those go, of course. There. I'm gonna take another stack of energy runes out. Just realized I should totally be doing that. So you have life runes are here. Those go there. Then the wither runes go, of course, with the other wither runes. Lunar runes go in there. I guess I'll get some more food cooking while I just move more runes from one place to another.
one nine four three seven two, and they're both minuses. Yeah, just making sure. One nine four three seven two. And then hit done. One nine four three seven two. Yeah. So voxelon and then yeah, coordinates are written down there. Nice and easy to just read. All right, so I can now use that again too. Sure. Right, so I should actually already be like getting pretty close to finished moving those around. So that's cool. All right, sure. Let's get rid of him. All right, let's put some more water runes. Yeah, those two. And I guess the strike runes can go with the strike rune posts for the time being. Yeah, I suppose so. That gets put away there. Then the compass runes go with the rest of the compass runes. Uh-huh. Right. Yep, so that's now all put away. So yeah, still like no luck getting wind runes. Well, at least not the wind rune shrine, so. I may just opt to simply crack all of these on a rune randomizer and just hope for the best. I'm gonna just crack all this, all the unpowered runes on this randomizer and just pray I get a lot of wind runes. Won't really need that much of everything else at the moment. So I'm mainly just gonna hope for the wind runes. Not really bother with much else. So yeah, I'm gonna see how this ends up going. Yeah, like I turned a stack of like 64 unpowered runes into 12 wind runes. Nowhere near as efficient this way to just get the runes I want, specific ones. Yeah, nowhere near as effect effective, but until I actually find the wind rune shrine, I have to settle for this. So I got that many wind runes so far. <laughs> sure. And I have life runes to also move over, apparently. <laughs> Thought I couldn't get life runes from, like, unpowered. <laughs> Hence why I'm more eager to use those, because there's fewer rune types you can get, thus more, like I, uh, more likely I get the ones I actually want. Not to mention it is also faster to just use the like 
rune shrines rather than having to go through the randomizer. Yeah, these are all just literally extra runes I don't think I'll need too badly. <laughs> because I can just more easily make those other runes. I have the rune I have the rune shrines for those more readily available. So that's, that, that's all the wind runes I have to work with, I would suppose, at this very moment. Okay, I think I might have like one other stack plus whatever I'm carrying, and that's literally it. Yeah, I feel like that's still gonna run out rather quickly. Yeah, that's still probably gonna run dry pretty fast, those wind runes. Yeah, it depends on what boss I go after, that could just run out rather quickly. Yeah, so it's still kind of a big deal. I just simply don't have, like, access to, like, the Windrune Shrine. Still kind of a big deal. I'm missing access to that. Yeah, so I need, like, buckets of toxic waste, which I can just easily pick up from Vox Ponds. Should be able to just literally pick these up and then go, right? Oh, I just collected them. Sure. I'm just gonna like probably want to put some extra blocks so getting out will be easier. Yeah, I think I've been like up for like what? I think I've been on for like. Can I see? Two hours? I think I'm probably just gonna like call tonight soon at this point. It's been like two hours. Alright, I need more coal, clearly. We have ran out. We have also run out here. Yep, so that's now how I get the Vilestone to go after Voxelon. <laughs> Alright, apparently I also lose the bucket too, sure. Apparently the bucket also goes away. <laughs> Tempted to just go chase down another boss, but there's still probably more prep work I'd like to actually do. Just better enchants on like new stabs or like armor pieces or whatnot. Still definitely just like other things I want to do in terms of just enchanting gear and making gear and collecting like even more like items and whatnot. Still like more stuff I want to do regardless. Yeah, I think that right there is my Residian staff. Yep. Yeah, hence why I just wanted to get as many wind runes as possible. <laughs> hence why I wanted to do that. Yeah, that way I'll be able to just, like, get good mileage out of this. Plus, the life-stealing roots should be able to help me stay alive, but... Yeah, I'm gonna have to supply this thing with runes. Yeah, I do have to supply the damn thing with runes. And there's also gonna be, like, ideally getting it enchanted with Archmage 
two at least. Yeah, especially want to get Archmage since my Windrune supply is limited. <laughs> I suppose I can also just, like, gain a bit of durability back as well. <laughs> sure. Well, if only I could have gotten more done tonight, but oh well. Went for the Windrune Shrine and just apparently no such luck. 